What is going on everyone? Got a tech video here to share with all of you on how to airdrop photos and videos from an iPhone to a new iPhone. So if you're watching this video and you're trying to do this with a friend and you have a different iOS device, this should still work for you as well. So I got the iPhone 7 Plus right here and I recently upgraded to the iPhone XS Max, which I'm actually really enjoying and both of them are running iOS 12. So I went ahead and charged the battery up on both devices. You wanna make sure you turn on Wi-Fi on each device and connect Wi-Fi and you also wanna have Bluetooth Bluetooth turned on for each device. Also, if either one of your devices has the personal hotspot feature enabled, turn that off while you're doing this. So you just wanna make sure that if you're doing this with a friend that you guys are near each other, you don't have to be like this close, I'm just doing this because of the video, but I should not have any range issues right here. So let me show you real quick here on the iPhone 7 Plus that I have some left behind photos and videos in here. And I wanna get them quickly transferred wirelessly over here to the XS Max. And if I go in here, I'll show you that I do not have any photos or videos. So what we need to do is go ahead and go in the control center. So you need to go in your control center, depending on what device you have, you'll probably have to like swipe up from the bottom or over here, like on the XS Max, you have to swipe down from the top right to get into the control center. Then over here where these connectivity options are, right about in the center, we wanna long press that or hard press that till you get these options that pop up. Then all you need to do is select airdrop right there. Now, if you can't choose airdrop right there, make sure you go into your settings, check under your restrictions to make sure you have airdrop enabled. To make this right, here easy, you want to select the same thing on each device. So instead of choosing contacts only and worrying about like if the person's in your contact list and whatever for it to work, just choose everyone. That'll just make this process a little easier for you because at the end we can go in and we can disable that feature. Okay, so back here at the photos, all you need to do is choose them one by one or you can select all of them. I'm gonna choose all photos and videos there. And then down here, there's a little box with an arrow pointing up. Go ahead and tick that. And here's where you should see the list of devices you're able to transfer to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer to myself. And over here on the right on the XS Max, you'll see that AirDrop is working and it's wirelessly copying the stuff over. I actually really Really like this feature. And in just a second, the photos and stuff should populate there in the background. So there they are popping right up. And if I go back and I click done there and deselect those, you can see that everything's pretty much equal. It worked perfectly. All you need to do then is go back into your control center on both devices. And once you're back in here, you just select airdrop and you wanna choose receiving off. So that disables the feature. So you just make sure that you disable the feature on both devices. And at that point, you are pretty much done. So real quick, I wanna mention if you're not seeing the device that you're trying to actually transfer to pop up over here and you're having issues with that. There's a few things you can try like basic troubleshooting. You want to log out of iCloud on both devices and then log back into iCloud. Also go in under your settings on your phone and go to general and go to restrictions if you have that option in there and make sure AirDrop is turned on so you can actually use it like we discussed before. And double check that you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled and all that good stuff and hotspots turned off. Maybe reboot your devices or add the person to the contacts list on either device. So that's just a little bit of troubleshooting you can do to try and get this to actually work. So that's pretty much all I have for you for this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and share it. And I appreciate you guys watching and I will see all of you soon.